She doesn't want to accept the Constitution, right? Isn't that what she says? She doesn't want to hear the Constitution? She doesn't want to hear the Bill of Rights. She doesn't want to hear the Federalist Papers. She doesn't even want to hear the Declaration of Independence. Yet she took an oath to it. Here you go. Through the ORS, the Oregon State Legislative, and the Lewis and Clark Show right here. And guess what Lewis and Clark Show, what do you call it, basically specialized in the environmental and natural resource law. Right here, environmental and natural resource law. What does that mean? Your minerals, your water, and your land. Right here, all participated in it. I didn't create this. I beg everybody to go ahead and download it and you'll see Anna, Anna Aikens and Anna J. Brown participating in this. And guess what? They were all appointed by Bill Clinton. And Bill Clinton's connected to the Clinton Foundation. And Uranium One. Let's move the table out. We're going to take right. a two minute break and move the table down. Two minute stairs break. And this is the State Sovereign. This was done by uh, Jefferson Powell and Benjamin J. Uh, Prester. And this is a Supreme Court decision. These are not mine. I did not fabricate. I did not create the. And I did not alter any of these documents. Okay, this document right here, I'm gonna read two pages on it, and you're gonna see the separation of powers and also a Supreme Court law with regards to the state and federal lands. Matter of fact, I'll even give, uh, what do you call it, uh, Shauna Cox the honor of reading this. The states have power over the land, navigable waters, real property, wild animals, and persons within their territory. This kind of sovereignty is also what is transferred from Congress to the new state government when a state, when United States territory is admitted into the Union. Under the language used by the court in Arizona versus California, a, just, a justicable controversy is presented only if Arizona as a sovereign state. Right, and, and this Supreme Court ruling is gonna be called Arizona versus California 298 US 558. Basically states that the states have control of all lands what the hell is the federal government arresting our patriots? This is a state issue and not a federal issue. And the only reason why Anna J. Brown would, would not recognize this is because she has her money in these hedge funds where they're stealing our minerals in our land and our water using through, uh, through federal grants and federal policies. This is why Anna J. Brown refuses to recuse herself or remove her for, or disqualify herself. She has a financial gain through the Oregon Legislative uh, Investment Council. And yet, she's violating one of the, one of the Supreme Court rulings. In, in addition to that, there's actually separation of powers. And, and, and she calls herself a judge. And she calls herself an honorable judge. What the hell is honorable about her? There's nothing honorable about this criminal. She's a criminal in a robe. And she also should be part, participating in being, and, being, and being indicted under Article 3 for treason because she's also aiding and abetting Uranium One to go ahead with the Clinton Foundation, the same Clinton's family that appointed her as a judge with Anna Akins and ruling in favor so the Chinese can have our uranium and gold and silver and copper with the Russians, Iran, and ISIS. Is it a conspiracy? Yes, it is a conspiracy because it takes one or more, two or more individuals to conspire for a crime. And they're conspiring and committing, perpetuating fraud upon the American people in our military, again, in our patriots. This is what they're doing. Now we're going to go ahead separation of powers. The federal government is a, is a substantive way in expressing the state federal separation of powers that the court views as a safeguard for liberty. So what the hell are we doing having our patriots incarcerated and, and, and the, the authority of the federal government when the federal government has zero jurisdiction? Zero. These are Supreme Court cases. What the hell is going on? And I tell you what's going on. She's part of this. She's part of the Lewis and Clark show right here. The same characters that are behind all these bills. And she's ruling in favor of all the land grabbing. 80, 90% of the, what do you call, bills she's a part of. So should there be a grand jury investigation against Anna J. Brown and Anna Akins and Stacey Beckerman? Yes. Oregonians, this is all the evidence. It's time for you to rise. 
It's time for the people to rise. It's time to replace these criminals with good, with, with, uh, with, with good, uh, uh, with replace these po dirty uh, politicians. Yeah, we're well, back to our republic under Article 4, Section 4, and the Federalist Papers 49. It says we are a republic. We've got to, we've got to vote in the good people. Now, our election's coming up, and we've got to get the right people involved. We need everybody here tomorrow. Yeah, Mark Allen, you're more than welcome. We hope, we, we hope that the Oregonians listen to the evidence and elect you because this criminal right here has his money all over this cookie jar. Would you, sir, go ahead and arm Russia with uranium? Would you give China or ISIS uranium? No, you wouldn't. And why is this criminal Ron Wyden doing it? Because he's lost touch with the people. He's been in there for about 35 years and he needs to go. See, yeah. So the, Jeff Merkley needs to be next. Greg Walden, Ron Wyden, Ted Ferrioli. These now criminals need to be gone. He has to put appointed. And they're all appointed. David Ward's appointed. Stephen E. Grassi's appointed. Kate Brown's appointed. Oh, Anna Aiken's appointed. Well, we got Clinton, the Clinton Foundation, Clinton, uh, with, through the environmentalists, because guess what? Back when Bill Clinton was a president, he was part of this environmentalist with Russia. I, I advise and, 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 and declaring all of these monuments and things across the nation, because that's all it is, is to lock up the resources. To and lock up. They've done it time and time again over the years, and they keep doing it. And we're just. And look into exposing. Bunkerville. This also applies to Bunkerville. This also applies to the fa to the Hague family. This also applies to 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 to, uh, to uh, another case in in Montana, in Montana yeah. with Greg with, uh, with Mr. Robinson. All these criminals that are part of guess what the Clinton Foundation. They're all part of the Clinton Foundation. None of these are immune. They're all connected, and it is a conspiracy. Because through the Clinton Foundation, they're stealing our natural resources. Your natural resources. Your children's natural resources and your grandchildren's resources. So I want every, every, every American to come out tomorrow in front of this courthouse and join us to face Anna J. Brown and her conspiracy to defraud you. Because it's what it is, a big conspiracy. Any words? No, but thank you. <laughs> Get rid of Ron Wyden, and uh, we got about three weeks to do that. Okay. Um, I'm doing what I can in terms of going all around the state to uh, to basically remove him from office. He's been in there long enough. Doesn't even uh, live in Oregon anymore, and uh, we need to get rid of him electorally, of course. But uh, we need to get rid of him in terms of removing him from office, sending him back to New York permanently, mm -hmm. and so we can actually have our constitutional republic back. We can actually have someone that believes in the Constitution. I carry a Constitution with me everywhere I go, all around the state. I've been traveling all around the state, Southern Oregon, Eastern Oregon, and I've been talking to a lot of great folks, both Democrats, Republicans, Bernie supporters, to far-right far Tea Party uh, members. But And we, we're all Oregonians here, the way I see it. And we're all Americans here. We want our country back. And the corruption and the cronyism that is currently happening in Washington, D.C. has got to stop because they're just not connected with us anymore. You know Oregon's a um, one-government state right now, right? A one-party state, yeah. Well, we're calling it a one-government. One-government state, yeah. yeah. And uh, do, you, do you see hope that that changes back to the way it should be? I believe so. I mean, there, there, are, there are conservatives and there are yeah, Republicans in Oregon. But the one-party government, one-party state right now will will have you believe that basically everyone in Oregon believes the same way they do, which right. is not the truth. You get anywhere east of the Cascades, anywhere say south of uh, I don't know Cottage Grove or something like that, or south of Eugene, it's all conservative, and it's all Republican. And I mean, there's there's Republicans in the I-5 corridor on the coast as well, and then also in the I-5 corridor. Clackamas County is a great example of a large population of conservatives, a large population of Republicans. I'm not running to represent just the Republicans, though. Yes. I'm, re I'm running to represent all Oregonians. I've been going to events with the other side. I've been going to the, the Tenants United. I went to the... Uh, I've been to... I'm, I'm planning on going to other events here in the upcoming weeks of the election. And I, I'm, I'm talking to both sides of the aisle, and they're all fed up. Whether you're on the left or you're on the right, they're all fed up. And it's because our politicians 
are not responsive to the people they're supposed to be representing. I personally don't consider myself a politician. I'm not your typical politician. I'm not your typical Republican either. Right. But I am a Republican, and I hope people don't hold that against me just because I have an R behind my name on the ballot. I'm out to represent all Oregonians. I want to implement a flat tax to, Im to replace the current bloated 74,000 page tax code that Ron Wyden himself, being that he's on the finance committee, actually helped create. It's so full of cronyism and carve-outs that it's, it's sick. It's obviously, it's, it's very sick that they would have these special deals, cronyism carve-outs in our own tax code. I want to replace the whole thing, throw the whole thing out, replace the whole thing with a simple flat tax to be able to do a, uh, taxes on a postcard. I also stand for things like a balanced budget amendment. I figure if Americans can have to balance their own checkbook, the federal government should have to do the same thing, which obviously they're not doing right now because we have $19 trillion in debt. I mean, what kind of, what kind of stuff is that, you know? And then I also want to enforce immigration laws because our immigration laws across the country aren't being enforced. We need jobs here in Oregon. We need a stronger economy in Oregon. It's not going to happen when they're locking up our land and uh, selling it off to the Russians and Uranium One and Energy LLC to mine your mine uranium. I'm against the mining uranium. I, I, I strongly support the Hammonds. I strongly support the Bundys because what they were doing is standing up for their constitutional rights. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We appreciate Thank it, you. Mark.